pressure point. This pressure point is very resistant to a grab. What's really important about this pressure point is a two finger strike. You can strike that so well with two fingers. Don't try this, but I mean, you can do it yourself. If you find yourself, nothing, right? But try and whack yourself real good, like that. You feel it? Somebody hard enough to damage the spinal cord, that blunt, uh, blunt cord, all right? But we're talking pressure points again, all right? Underneath the shoulder blades, you know where the shoulder blades go? So make your shoulder blades come out. Uh, no. Kind of like, yeah, there you go, like this. You see that shoulder blade? Same thing as here and in the ankle, I want to get behind and inside that shoulder blade. Yes, I want to get back in there. Now I'm going to find the pressure point. And there's several pressure points here. It's not just one, but you want to find one and you want to dig. This is one that you guys can all do. Why? Because if this guy's got me here and he's got me in the bear hug, all right, I want to come here. I can't do anything. That's not going to do anything, me beating him. I want to find these pressure points and come in. There's a heart right here. And now I'm gonna go like that until he lets go. I gotta get behind him, all right? Did it hurt a little bit? A little bit. Oh, it did? I, I just thought you, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so imagine, he grabs me in the bear hug. Let go of me, let go. I don't wanna do that. All right, I can't butt him anymore because he's getting so tight and he's squeezing in. I wanna find those pressure points. Sure, don't forget I've got those ribs. Don't forget I've got the kidneys. No pressure point there. The blunt force to the kidneys, all right? You don't wanna beat him. You want to hit him. So you want to hit him right there in the kidney, all right? Or you want to find the pressure points. Now, one good thing, see that chin? You know what Chuck Norris has underneath his beard, right? Another punch. It's true. Chuck Norris has a secret punch underneath his, his chin, and that secret punch, what's wrong? Did it hurt? Who wants me to do it to them? Uh -huh. All right, so I was only kidding. But it, did, it probably did hurt him. He's got me in a bear hug. I can bite him, I'm sure. Biting is dangerous. And I'll tell you what, it might be a cool idea, and it might be cool with your friends. But what happens if you break the skin? What are you susceptible to? Disease, germs. And if that person's a drug person, and he's got AIDS maybe, or hepatitis, and you're gonna bite him, that's the wrong thing to do. So if you're about to die, and the only thing you think is gonna save your life is to bite, then I would bite. But I would save the biting for last, and what I would do is use my chin as a weapon and stick that chin in there. All right? He just loves me, that's what he said, and he loves me. All right? Hey, Capito. Looking like it, it's solo robot. Putting pressure points. It's right in front of you. All right? So many ways to get there. All right? That individual throws a strike at me, and I come in and strike. He throws another strike, I block, and I strike. I never threw a punch to this guy. All I did is he throws one, bam! And he's like, ah, ah, ah. all right, why? Because he throws that, and I throw a punch, and I break my knuckle, now I got a problem. Sometimes, throwing that punch is not what you want. Go straight for that pressure point, all right? Better yet, always moving up, look at those eyes. Aren't they pretty? Only an eyes mom would love, all right? Look where I'm gonna go. He's gonna come up to me, one finger in the eye. All right? I'm not talking because he took your bicycle. It's Saturday morning, you guys are playing their party, took your bicycle. I'm talking about mom's in the grocery, grocery store and you went out to go get her keys and now you're coming back to the store and this guy's standing in front of you. You might wanna let him get close, which is dangerous. But what are you gonna do for me, to me from here? Nothing. But the moment I come to you, maybe you gotta just let it happen. You, you're thinking right now, if I run away, he's going to catch me. So maybe I need to let this guy come up. And the moment he comes up, yeah, poke him in the eye. Dangerous, I understand, but sometimes you might not have a choice. All right? Moving around. We've got here. Now, there's a lot in the face, all right? There's a very important one right here. It's hard to get your finger in here. Best way is make a knuckle, all right? A knuckle sound, and just put it and push down. Push up. All right, if the palm strike don't work, what in, during a women's assault, when this guy comes up to you and grabs you, you can't punch him from here, right? So what can you do? You can bring up your knuckles up there and use this to push away, all right? Because once he grabs me here, how effective am I? I can't get away. Of course, I can hit button, all right? But if I can get a hand, look where I'm going, look where the throat is, I can't, that's not gonna hurt him too much. 
right? Especially when it tenses up. But what I can do is make a blade and use the other hand and use my body. Look guys, I'm not using my hand. I'm about to use my entire body. I'm gonna step back and push away. Oops, sorry. All right, so I didn't just use my little hand. I used my body. I pushed away, I took a step back, and I extended my arm. Just Two arms. Commendable. This is number 11, and you guys are still doing it wrong. What are you doing number 11? You're doing that. Is that hurting you? No. Look at my forearm. I make an entire weapon. Now it's my whole body going down or going up. My whole body is being used here, not just my fingertips. That's why number 11 ain't working for you guys. Strike, grab, and pressure points. One here and one in the back. All right? <clears throat> the mandible.